Hey warriors, so I'm back <laughs> and let me just tell you what, it's been a hell of a week. Um, this morning, oh sorry, I'm like blinding you. Um, this morning I have just, good night, <laughs> um, been busy cleaning, getting some stuff done that needed to get done. Um, Speaking of which, I need to sit down and take a little bit of a break. Sorry, I keep blinding you guys. Because <clears throat> um, I am definitely not quite up to snuff yet as far as like my lungs are concerned. It's amazing what a couple weeks of barely being able to breathe and like this past week was really bad. Um <clears throat> does to your lungs and <laughs> your ability to move oxygen <sighs> yeah like this past week I've barely been able to work out like I've been doing like maybe like a 10 to 15 minute just like easy mile um just because of how bad my like wheezing and Everything's been, but the wheezing has subsided a lot and the rattling in my chest as well is gone for the most part, which is good because I kind of sounded like I was at death's door. So if there was one thing that this past week has just reminded me of, it's the fact that I am so sick and tired of being sick and tired. And it definitely was a reminder that one of my non-scale goals for losing weight is to get my asthma under control. Um, and I know that I can because I've lost weight to the point before where I didn't even have to take my inhaler anymore. So I know that it's possible. Um, so yeah, it was just, it was a reminder that that is one of the reasons that I am doing this because I am so tired of having bronchitis and asthma attacks and hardly being able to breathe and having like five months out of the year where I'm terrified <laughs> to be outside or to even be around someone who might have the sniffles because I'm scared that it's going to develop into bronchitis or worse. Yeah, so this was definitely a reminder, which in and of itself is a good thing. Wasn't a pleasant thing, but it was a good thing. Hold on, I actually just took my meds. So let me let me show you what's in my little goodie bag. Um, speaking of which, I don't know what my dumb ass did. Again, I was cleaning and just like throwing stuff into garbage bags because I was like, just get rid of it, get rid of it all. Take it out to the dumpster, come inside, sit down. I was like, man, I need to take my meds and then I look around and I can't find them <laughs> so yes I was out there with my broomstick trying to like pull out the garbage bags I had taken out there to find my meds yeah that was that was choice so let me let me just show you what what my week has looked like so we got steroid numero uno um, which I already take every day, but my Simba Court. Um, I normally only take one to two puffs at night, but I've been having to double up doses. There's actually been some days where it's been bad enough that I was taking it three times a day, so yippee. Steroid number two. I'm not going to show you the bottle because I don't want you getting my address and everything, but um, a 14-day stint of prednisone. Yeah, and I'm only on day three. My emergency inhaler, which I've been taking about every four to six hours. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, yes. My um, basically the prescribed version of Flonase. Montecoulast, which is a anti-inflammatory used for allergies and asthma. And then, of course, my doctor had me start taking myoinositol for my PCOS and like hormone balancing, um, hopefully to help with my weight loss. So there's that. And then I've also, this has already been in here, but I've been taking this DIM plus bioparinine, which is also to help with hormone imbalance. So there's that as well. But yeah, that's that's been my week. Um, lots and lots of steroids, you know, because I don't have a horrible history with steroids and weight loss. But you know what? Steroids are apparently an asthmatic lung's best friend and the worst enemy of weight loss. Anyways, um... 
I think I'm gonna get back to cleaning, although I feel like I may just go ahead and do a workout video right now, or I guess try to do a workout video, because um, like I said, this past week it's been really difficult <laughs> with my lungs, so we'll see, we'll see how much it can handle, um, and then get some more cleaning done. As for lunch and dinner today, it's probably going to be a super boring day because I finished all my stew, um, which was delicious, by the way, and really convenient because I just made it like the one time and then just every day I was going in and just reheating some, um, which is fantastic when you're not feeling well. So that's gone. So it's probably going to be a cereal day. Um, we'll see. I'm not really feeling like making any... Um, waffles today so I don't know what other what else I would have other than cereal I might just have cereal twice today um or I guess I have some canned chicken soup that mama warrior sent over that I could have not the healthiest but <sighs> again it's just it's just been one of those weeks <laughs> Okay, so I just did a half hour walk away the pounds video. Um, it's gonna take me a little while to get back to where I was before I got sick. Like the last 10 minutes, I just stopped doing like the side steps and kicks and whatnot um, and just marched in place the entire time because I was struggling, I was struggling to breathe. And this is <clears throat> after a week of being on meds. So, whew, fun. And here's my lunch for today. I have a bowl of grape nuts with some pomegranate seeds and Oikos triple zero Greek yogurt and an apple. I haven't added the almond milk to the cereal yet because grape nuts get kind of mushy really fast and I like mine really crunchy so I'll add that in a second. But this entire meal once I add the almond milk will come out to 700 calories. Anybody notice anything missing? That's right, there's no Christmas tree anymore. <laughs> Here's the thing, normally I would have zero qualms about keeping my Christmas tree up like most of the year or really all year. Um, I am Mama Warrior's daughter and that is definitely something that she does, but it's a huge tree and I have a small apartment and I was just missing the space, so sad face. Look at that. 
all gone. Though I decided I may just leave my Minnie Mouse stocking up just because it's super cute and it's super Disney and I just love it. And I also kept one ornament out. My little guy, my little turtle, cause he was just too cute to put away. And you know, summer's coming up, so he totally matches that aesthetic. And here's my dinner. Um, I just was feeling super lazy and decided to just have cereal again. So I have my grape nuts with pomegranate seeds and almond juice, a Premier protein shake for some extra protein, and an apple that I need to wash, by the way. And this meal comes out to 750 calories, putting me at about 1,450 calories for today, which is right in my caloric range. By the way, for those of you who eat grape nuts, if you've never tried them with pomegranate seeds, you're missing out. Mm. It's just like this perfect little pop of sweetness and oh, so good. Yummy. Just got done doing some more cleaning and I swear to goodness, it's like the more I clean, the more messy my apartment gets, but it'll all pay off in the end. But I did want to show you this absolutely adorable water bottle that my mom ordered for me and that apparently is customizable um she got one for me and i think for emery who for those of you who don't know emery is my soon-to-be sister-in-law she's marrying trenton um, on april fool's day really anyways um mine says you are my sunshine i don't know if you can read that it's upside down sorry it's got water in it um and then it says laura lynn across the bottom and i love how my mom is like really embracing Laura Lynn, like for those of you who don't know, Lynn is not my last name. It's not my even my middle name. It is my bio dad's middle name. Um, and he passed away from heart disease at like, I think he was like 50, 51. Um, so the reason I chose that was just to kind of honor him and honor the fight that he had. And also as a reminder that um, if I don't want that to be me, like, I've got to put in the work so but mama warrior is definitely embracing it so yeah just want to show you so cute love it as this little nozzle i don't know where she got it i'll ask her and maybe link it in the description box if i remember um and then on here it has like the little drink by certain times get started remember your goal keep chugging don't give up almost there you did it refill now um it's a 32 ounce bottle normally i don't do 32 ounce bottles i usually stay between like 16 to 24 just because i feel like i i can drink them faster um and it kind of keeps me drinking throughout the day but i will definitely use this because it's a gift All right, it is Sunday afternoon and I am heading over to my family's house for Sunday dinner. Um, I think we're having fried chicken with potatoes and broccoli, asparagus, I don't know, some sort of vegetable. Just rocking the most popular Washington hairstyle, windswept chic. Oh, I think I hear Bane at the door. He might actually be there. Oh, he is. Hello, how are you? Hi, Bane. How you do? Oh, no. My key was in the way. Hey, Bainers, say hello. Bane, hi. Hi, 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 hi. How are you doing? Let me throw this over here. How are you doing, huh? Bainers, Bane, Bane. 
What's up? What's up? What are you doing? Are you such a good big brother? Huh? Are you such a good big brother to Effie and Evie? Are you? Yeah. We'll follow you inside. And now for what you're <laughs> really here to see, I got Effie on my shoulder. Don't you dare fall. Oh, 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 oh. And then got Evie right here. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Effie. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> you guys have to see. Yeah. <laughs> Effie thinks that she is a gymnast and that any human being is like her own personal gym. <laughs> there we go. There's Effie where she should be. She was on top of me. You want to <laughs> And there's Trenton. Hey. <laughs> Hi. She Effie. You're so cute. Ugh. Ugh. Really? And now Evie is mooning them. Thanks, Trenton. Nah. Careful, you fall off. <laughs> okay, let's, okay, hold on. Let's, let's get Evie down. Ugh. And here is, ah, come on. Here is Evie. Hello. Say hello. Alright, I'm gonna go play with them. Do you guys want Brady or do you just want um Uh yeah. Um, did you just ask that question? This is a gravy household. No, just feeling the audience. Just feeling the audience. We can't have both? Ah, uh, don't do it. No. Don't do it. Evie. Evie, Evie, Evie. Oh, okay. Well, she survived. Evie. Did you stay with me? Did you stay with me, Evie? Hmm? Oh, now you're coming back? Yeah, okay, all right, yeah. Now you're coming, oh, she's like, oh, the, what, the, the camera's on? Oh, I gotta be over here. Oh, oh, gosh, oh, gosh. See, this is what she does. Just finds a perch right there. You're just lucky I've got big boobs. Huh. You're just lucky I got big boobs. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Can you tell they miss me? Mm. Oh. <clears throat> we having a Lion King style showdown right now. Oh. <laughs> Evie just stuck her tongue up my nose. <laughs> Can't say I'm not happy that's over. I cut these, but they weren't really ready to go yet. <laughs> Fair again? Out in the garage. Forgot what you did to me earlier. Evie, Effie, hi. Hi, girls. Evie, Effie. Hi, cousin. Right me. So the world wants to know how you doing now that you're done with radiation. Woo! <laughs> Something Let's like go. That. Something like that. Maybe. Are you excited to be done and get to go to school? Of course. Yeah. No, I'm still tired though. Yeah. You don't go to school till what? Mid April. April fifteenth is moving day. Awesome. <laughs> to puppies.